Veterans Day is coming up this Saturday. It is a time to pay tribute to the men and the women who have served in the armed forces. There is one Western New York community that is going all out for the Veterans Day weekend. Here's our man, Mike Randall. They're putting the finishing touches on a very special tribute. In the Korea and the Gulf War is over on that wall. Estelle Adelman and volunteers of the Orchard Park Historical Society are working with the library to present honoring those who served. Orchard Park is a very caring community and you just reach out and things appear and that's what's been happening. The vintage uniforms belong to the Historical Society but many of the personal items that will be featured have come from the community. Um, I snuck this stuff home. To Paul Pileschi it's very personal. He served in Vietnam and is sharing his entire collection. I take it wherever I can get a uh, audience. Paul admits that for many years he wasn't able to talk about his time in the war. We were told to come home and be quiet about it. But sharing the memorabilia and the stories has been therapeutic for him. It's become my favorite subject. <laughs> um, I guess all, and all of us, we've held it in for so long that when somebody asks us a question, we just, it just all comes out. Paul's collection includes his original draft card, a Nancy Sinatra autograph, and the names of the 28 servicemen from his battalion that didn't come home. And we have everything from a private to a colonel that we lost. This tribute will engage people of all ages, but Estelle hopes that it will really connect with kids. It's an opportunity for young people who don't get to go to military museums, not that that's what this is, but it's got a lot of the same kind of... Uh, uh, features, hopefully. Orchard Park Library, noon to four on Saturday and Sunday, is the place to check out a tribute to the men and women, past and present, who have served their country. A history lesson for some, and for others, a chance for healing. It was quite a healing process for us. In Orchard Park, Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.